and welcome back. So today I have two different unboxings for you. So these are both from Facebook by Soul Trade Groups. Um, I ordered them sometime last week. I said I was going to buy any more plants, but here we are. So let's open this one first. Uh, I kind of already cracked into it. So this plant that's going to be in here. So I was looking at Bros with Hose during their weekly restock and I saw this plant and I really wanted it. So I immediately click add to cart, immediately click checkout. And I guess while I was checking out, it all sold out. So I couldn't finish my like checkout process. I was really bummed about it. And then I swear like maybe like two hours later, I was just scrolling on Facebook and I saw this person selling a very similar if not exact same plant um so i immediately bought it and now it's here i'm so excited about this i bought it last wednesday it shipped on monday today is wednesday so that looks pretty good to me I genuinely really hate packing tape. Ooh. Oh my god, it's even prettier in real life. Ah. Okay, so basically there's shredded up newspaper in here, which I'm guessing she plopped on top of the leaves and then wrapped it in paper. That's some good ass packaging. Holy crap, it's even prettier in real life than in the photos okay so i bought it because of that pink leaf right there but look at all of these white variegated leaves Ooh. oh my god it looks so good okay and this is a peperomia caparata pink marble and then on Bros with Hose, the one they were selling last week is a Peperomia Caparata Pink Splash. I don't know if there's a difference. There probably is a difference because um, I've heard that Peperomia Caparata is really easy to hybridize. So there are like lots and lots of different versions of hybrids of this plant. Um, it is not the same thing as a Peperomia Pink Lady. Um, I can't remember the like botany like by like the correct name for that so i'll put it on the screen somewhere for a pepperoni pink lady but this is a pepperoni caparata pink marble but it's so pretty and it still has pink leaves so can't freaking complain about that holy crap looks very good um this leaf is kind of like damage but I don't think it's from shipping I think it was just like an old leaf um it's really no big deal holy crap this is like literally prettier than the photo okay let's see what's happening underneath this plastic okay a little bit of soil fallout but not that much this is a piece of damp paper towel. Okie dokie. Pull it out. Damp paper towel, be gone! Okay, so then it looks like it has sphagnum moss on top and then obviously soil underneath. One yucky leaf. 
Oh, wait, that's a yucky, a yucky leaf, but that's okay. Everything else looks really good. It's not soaking wet, so I think it's fine. Okay, dokey. Oh, yeah, that looks good to me. That was the first plant. And then the second plant. Okay, the second plant is going to look underwhelming when I open it. But I'm very excited about it. So this wasn't even on like a purge. Um, someone was ISO a plant and this person was selling what you'll see. And then um, the original person passed on it and I said I was interested. Um, okay, are you ready? Ooh, she packed it pretty well actually. Okay. Bubble mailer. And a Ziploc bag. So this is what I mean when I say it's gonna be so underwhelming when I open it. But ooh, ooh, good roots. Whoa, this is really good roots. I wonder why she didn't transfer it to soil. So this, my friends, is a stump for a philodendron gloriosum. So there's one teeny tiny baby leaf, but a really good root system. Obviously there's um, sphagnum moss like tangled in here, but still a really good root system. Um, I might transfer it into soil soon because, you know, I feel like these roots are very established. Let's see. Okay, so it definitely looks like there's a new leaf trying to come up where that old leaf was. And then, um, like right here. That also looks like that might be an active growth point. So hopefully that does become one. Um, but yeah, this is so fun. I've never done, I've never bought like a stick before. Um, I propagated wet sticks, but they're from like my own cuttings. I've never bought one, so this is fun. Um, I think I'm gonna transfer the sphagnum moss like as is like this um just into like a pot for maybe a week or so and then i might transfer it into soil because i feel like it it would do better since the roots are already so established but i think i'll need time to acclimate first so i'll probably leave it in the sphagnum for at least a week a week and a half before i do so but yeah, wow, this is so fun. That stem was chunky. So I'm excited about that. I'll keep you guys updated on how that does all over on my Instagram. But yeah, okay, that's it for me. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Bye!